you so much for watching back and for today we're going to make an unboxing slash first impression video of a package we received yesterday. Yes, the art materials I'm going to show you today are all sponsored. So who's excited about this? I am. And now that we have seen all the materials they have sent me, what we're going to do is of course we have to swatch them and check how they really work and let's see how it goes. So let's go. <laughs> So yeah, here are all the materials they've sent to us and we're going to make swatches of them and make a first impression of the actual markers. So we have this here, these are all white markers and we're going to use the black paper for this. Alright, so here we go. So you can see here that there's an instruction on how to use this. So it says here we have to shake it like this, upright position, and shake it like this. And then press the tip to and fro multiple times to quickly get the ink flowing. So, I guess, here's what they're referring to. Oh, I see. So there, you can see the paint. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. So this other one has a lot of ink because that's the first attempt we made for this one. So this is the chalk marker. Six millimeters. Then we'll try this one. There's also a white chalk marker and has six millimeters nib. So let's open it. Looks like there's a paper inside of this. Ooh, what are these? Are these stickers? So yeah, based on the packaging, they have five markers. Oh, it's same as this one. I see. They're just the same, guys. So all in all, I've got six chalk markers in white ink that are six millimeters. I guess this is a freebie, so let's open it. Are these stickers? Oh yes, they are stickers. So let's try to write on it. Actually, it's my mom's birthday today, so we'll write a happy birthday. Happy birthday to my mama SP. There you go. This material is actually not paper. It's like, it resembles to a leather. This is how it looks like. There I go. Mama SP. Yes, they are called chalk markers, but you can't erase them with just using your hands. Let's try something with a wet cloth. Alright, so there you go. This can actually be erased using a wet cloth. And I have seen it here as well that to wash off, you must use a wet cloth or a Windex. All of their packages have these instructions written. If we erase this, it will look like this. And these stickers can be reused. We'll try to write it again. Okay, so don't forget to shake it. You won't be afraid of using this because you can just easily erase all the mistakes that you might create while practicing. This one has a good shape. I like this one. So we'll also tape this here. It also says fast drying and yes, it dries fast. And also, while I'm trying to keep this inside the plastic, I found out that this also have different designs. I don't know what they call this, black stickers. There, we have squares, rectangles. I don't know how many sheets they have included on this. Let's see. Okay, so they call this the chalk labels. I guess these are the chalk labels. Because it says here includes 50 chalk labels. You can actually use this and uh, stick on your container and label it like sugar like salt um, cereals this is so perfect then let's see the six white chalk markers which is a variety pack of three millimeters and six millimeters i guess this just have the same thing with the previous one which are this just that they have a smaller version yeah and i'm correct so here it is Okay, so if these are chalk markers in white ink that are also 6 millimeters, then I have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 white chalk markers in 6 millimeters. Thank you so much for this show, Cola. This pack also comes with 50 chalk labels. And there's a card inside. It's similar to this one, the one I've shown you. We're in, it's like a promotional thing. And this is the second variety. It's a three millimeter. 
So whenever you try to shake them, you can feel the inks inside. So this one that I'm using is the white chalk marker in three millimeters. So you can see the difference. Here's what we got for the first two packages that we opened, which are these chalk markers. Now we're going to try this one. This is the smallest that they gave me. And it only has one millimeter nib. Chocola set of eight earthy colors. And it's an extra fine tip. Okay, so I'm seeing this card again. Woohoo! It also has this label. I've got a lot of this now. So, and again, under packaging at the back, you can see the instructions or the start guide on how to use this. So, I'm gonna swatch them all. Can I actually try shaking them all together? So, here you'll see. After you shake it, the colors are actually coming out from the tube. These materials are actually good for kids because as you can see, it is stated here that it is non-toxic, it's dust-free and water-based. However, they're still advising to keep this out of reach of children under 3 years of age because of course they'll, it has small parts like the cap which they can eat. So please be careful with that and please be mindful of the safety of your kids or of your students. Alright, so the next one we're going to swatch is this Chocola Premium Wet Wipe Markers. As I mentioned earlier, this kind of like a mother of this one because they just look similar but this is of course larger it has a three millimeters bullet tip Let's switch them all and of course we also have another set of labels then of course this card well actually to be honest their packaging is good it's so durable it's a hard type of plastic we also need to shake this all and now we're going to try this on a mirror because it says here that we can use this in glass, whiteboards, mirrors, plastics, chalkboards, and ceramics. So we already tried this on a paper and it looks good. So we'll try to use this on a mirror. Let's find a mirror. So we're going to use this. I don't have that big mirror here. So we'll try to use this one. Let's zoom in. Try the brown one. Of course, we have to shake it. Oh, wow. look at that. This is so nice. You can actually make signages for this on your cafe, a wedding signage, or if you just want to make a design on your mirror. So perfect. Let's make a flower. There you go. Then of course, we need to make the center of the flower. So here we go. Here's the outcome of the swatches we made and some simple illustrations using the premium wet wipe markers, which has more vibrant colors than the uh, previous one, which is the earthy tones. You could just simply remove them, but if you force it, of course, you'll be able to remove the ink. So here we go. So the next item I've got here is the vintage chalk marker. So I'm kind of excited about this because it says vintage. I'm thinking of how vintage will it look like. It says here as well, it has 10 markers, includes 50 chalk labels again, works in all non porous surfaces. So let's open this one. I see. It has pastel colors. Ooh, let's see this. It also mentioned that it can be used for glasses. So I'm going to take this. It's my paintbrush holder and we'll try to paint something on the glass. So you'll just have to make sure that it's clean, of course. So we'll just get the swatch paper again. So I'm excited about these two colors here because yes, I love pink. These are two different shades. So let me check if they have a name for each color here. Mm -hmm. They actually don't have the actual name of the colors on the marker holder. We cannot determine what kind of shades they are, but you can just check the actual cap. We'll try this. Oh my god, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. So I'm actually writing a code. I 
is that the colors are really opaque because as you can see here I'm painting on top of this blue color you can definitely see that it's fully covered so here I got here make art that matters and yeah there we have it it's also good in writing on glasses so you can actually write on your window so see that thing it's so cool I can actually put this markers inside of this where I made the design so there there you go make art that matters because life is short and also just like with the other packages it has this promotional material here and the chalk labels by the way i've been seeing this on the packages and it says here it's a reversible tip so i haven't tried it yet so let's see let's open this one and okay you can easily remove it and there you'll be able to have a fine tip let me try to use this it might be messy if you try to reverse the tips but you can use tweezers instead if you don't want any inks in your hand so let's try this here so since this is kind of plastic you can write it down oh let's say we're writing fine tip so if you don't want the bullet type you can just reverse it then you'll be able to have this one you can also use the sharpest inch line see the difference so who who this is so cool and if you just want to have this back and the bullet nib, you just have to pull it over, then bring it back. Just like that. As easy as that. So the next item we've got here is still a chalk marker, but this time it has 30 pieces inside. It has 3 millimeters nib and it's still reversible, which is good. And it also includes 50 chalk labels. You can see here what shades are inside. Then of course, you still have the start guide or the instructions, how you can use it and how to clean it off. There's the warning, always test a small portion of your surface only for non-porous surfaces. This is actually the second to the last box of markers that we have. There you'll see it has a lot of colors okay the set of markers just have a different packaging because as you can see here it's black and the previous ones actually have this white packaging or white stickers in it but i believe this are just the same with these colors so we won't be swatching this anymore because i believe they would just have the same thing with this and they're also in three millimeters nib but we'll still use this for an artwork later and it says here it has 50 chalk labels so we're keeping this now they're acrylic paint markers it doesn't mention anything about chalk it says here acrylic paint markers so what i found out based on the packaging it says here that this can now be used on rocks wood metal plastic glass ceramics porcelain and fabric unlike this chalk markers they cannot be used in fabrics all right oh my god see the thing you can actually see the ink inside you know what i like this the acrylic markers since i'm more on the wet mediums i'm very familiar with acrylics and uh, i just like this i'm happy about this well i'm actually happy of all the materials i've got but this one really amazes me and just like with the chalk markers you also need to shake them press the tip to and fro multiple times then you can now write with your marker and then to wash it off you must use a white cloth or windex so i'm confused about this one because what i know about acrylics is that when they dries up you can no longer erase them but it says here that to wash it off you must use a white cloth or windex mm -hmm, it's kind of interesting we're going to try this for us to see what this package really means about these markers that can be washed off knowing that they are acrylics let's try it this time on a white surface i have here my sketch pad all right so let's start with this gold i like this color and this and the pink shades and this these are good for skin tones so we'll also try to ride on a glass surface we'll try to use this one It says here that you can also use it on rock metal or wood. So this is metal. Let me write my name. Me. It also says that you can use it on wood. So I have here a small easel which is made of wood. We'll write something on here. Okay, let's write me. Me. There. It's me. It's 
Megan May. <laughs> and it says that it can also be used in ceramics. Let's try this one. So let's just paint a heart. It's not a perfect heart, but you can consider that a heart. It also says that it can be used in fabrics. Let's write May. Okay, okay. You can see here the uh, swatches. We have here the cool colors. We have here the warm colors. And that's it. Four markers. And oh, by the way, they also gave this chalkboard where we can uh, make some artworks and paint something. So that's what we're going to do now using all the markers that we swatched. Let's go. And yes, that's all for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed this. And uh, if you want to check the items, again, you can check Chocola's website at chocola.com. Done with what we're doing. And I hope you subscribe to this channel and like this one. If you have any comments, just comment it down below in the comment box. And yes, that's all for today. See you on my next video. Happy National Art Month, everyone. May we all have a good day. Bye.